And a good take under duress there. Jesus. Real chance. And the keeper's in trouble. Oh, how about that for a chip? Savour it. Pure brilliance. This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It's Arsenal against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, you just wonder what those players are thinking right now. Some will be nervous, some will be excited, and some may be anxious. But once that whistle blows, we're going to be in for an absolute classic here. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays with Mbappé! Oh, did so. Well, what a chance that was to take the lead. But you have to give the goalkeeper credit. What a brilliant save that was. Well, maybe a chance for them now to alleviate the pressure. Can they forge ahead? And it has arrived. The opening statement in this UEFA Champions League final. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. Just the challenge that was required. Ferreira. Now, who can he play it to? That's a useful cross. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And Mbappe's movement and penalty box awareness makes that finish look easy. That's a really good goal. And beyond the last defender, offside. Hakimi. And Fabian. Possibilities inside the box. Can they forge ahead? Oh, there it is! There's the goal that gives them the lead. Just what they wanted. Well, here it is again. And the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. It admirably. Jesus. This might be ideal for the counter. A real opening now. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Sense of judgment. And a good take under duress there. Jesus. Real chance. And the keeper's in trouble. Savour it! Pure brilliance! Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And what a great finish it is. He just lifts the ball over the keeper into the back of the net. That's a well-constructed goal. to nothing in the end 
As you can see, Arsenal are seeing less of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Yes, yeah, so and maybe another break brewing here. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and just look at these fans! The trophy coming their way, surely! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Kylian Mbappe into the advanced position but they dealt with the threat first it will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick the crossbar got in the way and a goal it is the keeper really not part of the equation We'll just take another look at this because he reacts so well and he then keeps his composure. It's a good finish. Two open at the back. They certainly haven't won this yet. Ten minutes left for play. Marcinelli. Well, it could be on for him here. A goal! And that is going to be that! Name on the trophy for certain! Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then just look at this finish, Derek. He does so well to read the bounce. Often you can send these into row Z, but he makes the perfect... Marquinhos. Minch. Verratti. Just the challenge that was required. A magical moment for Arsenal fans everywhere. Your old club have just been crowned champions of Europe. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Arsenal, the winners of the UEFA Champions League. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.